Carrie Bolden, and I am a health and wellness coach. And I'm going to start out by saying this is very interactive, okay? So you guys are involved in this presentation. My lovely assistants are going to be passing out some papers for you. I need you to complete those as we go through the presentation. I have Brooklyn and Billy and <laughs> Zaina, who are pa or my assistants, and they're going to be passing out these papers. So I'm a health and wellness coach. And what that means is that I am a wellness authority, and what I do is I motivate and I educate my clients so that they can make healthy lifestyle choices and changes. So when, when I began this, it was a number of years ago, and I decided that because of looking at people who were really struggling, struggling with weight gain, struggling with illnesses, I said, this is really not good. And, and as a young person, when you're young, people always say, well, when you get older, this is going to happen to you. And when you get older, you're going to have this ache and pain. And I really just didn't want that to happen to me. And so I was determined to make some changes. I was determined that chronic illness, I'm not going to just sit by and, and let it take over the quality of life that I experienced and my friends experienced. I didn't want obesity, hypertension, diabetes to wreck the quality of life for me and my family and friends. But for the last eight years, I've helped many people outside of my family to make serious life changes. One person I want to tell you about, I have a six-month program, and this client of mine is in Chicago, and she's been in the program for a year. It's a little bit longer than the program, but she's been there. And the reason why is that she didn't want to make the changes. She didn't think that she really needed to until recently when she got sick. Now, when you look at things from a perspective of being ill, things change, okay? And so you start thinking about things a little bit differently. So she, we talked again, and she realized that she needed to make some changes. And the main thing that she needed to do was remove toxins from her body, from her environment, from relationships. And she started doing that. She removed these toxins. And I'm really pleased to say that over the last two months, she's healthier than she's ever been through a lot of the coaching that we've done, and she's definitely happier as well. And so I'm really excited about that because she's one of our success stories. And I have the others, and I'd love to share them all, but I honestly don't have time. Now, like I said, this is an interactive part, so I actually need everyone to stand up now. Everyone get up. And because I'm going to give you some strategies that you can do in your offices, even things that you can do at the um, traffic light. When you're driving, you might be seeing a client or something like that, and before you get there, you just, in your car, do a couple of things. So basically do what I'm doing. You guys know these things already. You do your neck, do the neck roll, put your head down, turn to the left, turn to the right. These are things that you can do, you know, right at your desk, in your car. Then you know the shoulder roll. So roll your shoulders back a couple times, rolling forward a couple times. Do one at a time, very good. <laughs> Do one shoulder at a time, move it forward, move it backwards. Now here's why you may not be aware of, obviously you can't do this one in your car, but on the balls of your feet, kind of balance a little bit and bounce just a little bit. Just a little bit, like you're on a little trampoline, okay? These little things like this, in your offices, like I said, obviously not this one in your car, but you can do these and it kind of relieves a little stress for you, it can really help you out, stretching out is really good for you. Okay, you guys did great. Have a seat. I'm going to give you some more tips a little later. So, I have five keys to staying healthy for your business. Now, why is this important? Well, for you guys as entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs and small business owners, you are your business. And you really do need to stay healthy. You need to stay healthy for yourself, obviously, but for your customers as well as for your business partners. This is so important. So, the five things you might want to write down. Uh, number one is nutrition, okay? Now, the interesting thing about nutrition and diets and things is when people start talking about this, the first thing they say is don't. Don't eat this. Don't eat carbs. Don't eat that. Well, I'm going to say the opposite. I'm going to say eat, okay? And I'm going to say eat carbs, all right? And I know it gives you kind of a puzzled look, but here's what you need to be doing. To nourish our bodies, we need to be eating carbs such as berries, grapefruits, bananas, nectarines, pears, kiwi. Yes, these are carbohydrates, and you can eat them. I usually eat three bananas, two apples, two, three apples. In the morning, I eat lots of fruits. 
and, I, and throughout the day, and I nourish my body with all of these things. And these carbohydrates are good. You can't get too many of them. You're not going to gain weight. It's not going to spike your blood sugar or anything like that. So berries, grapefruits, bananas, kiwis, nectarines, these types of carbs are good for you, and you can eat these. So that's number one. Number two is sleep, okay? Sleep is ultra important. Like I said, this is interactive, so I want to ask, um, how many hours of sleep do you get on the average? Five or six, okay. Um, Rich, how many hours of sleep would you say you get every every uh, night? None. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, that's just kind of bad. No, I try to get six or eight. Yeah. Six, six to eight, okay, all right. Um, I want to ask you, how many hours do you usually get? Not enough. Not enough, not enough. Mayo Clinic and Cleveland Clinic say that adults should get eight to out, seven to eight hours of sleep. And as an adult, a lot of people think, no, I don't need that much sleep. You may sleep lighter, as you get older, but you still need seven to eight hours of sleep. And that goes to your stress level, your weight loss, all these things are involved in that, but it's so important to get sleep. The third point is stress management. Stress is inevitable. It is a part of life. As a business owner, you're going to have stress. You may have difficult times talking with vendors, customers, business partners, and it causes stress in your life. And there's so much that you can do. We did some of these little stretchy things that you can do while you're at your desk. You can also do breathing techniques that I suggest to my clients. I can show you that a little bit later if you like. The fourth thing is exercise. Um, Lewis was just talking about that. It's really important to exercise. Now, often people don't exercise. Why? They set unreasonable goals for themselves. They say, oh, I'll exercise five times a week. I'm going to the club and I'm going to run. I'm going to do all these things. Why do you do that to yourselves? You know that you're not going to go to the club five times a week. You're not going to run five times a week. You're not going to do all these things. So set reasonable goals. I have a mini trampoline. Maybe you guys have heard of these things, the rebounder. And you get on these things and you bounce, okay? And I, my goal is two times a week, 15 minutes each time. And you just bounce. Okay, and, and I step it up a little bit. Now, here's the thing. If I don't bounce twice this week, I'm not going to say, oh, well, next week I'll bounce four times. No, no. I'm going to do what's reasonable and what's possible for me. So set reachable goals. And January's coming up. Everybody's going to be setting goals for themselves and saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to just, like, really exercise. It's great. Exercise. But set reasonable goals because when you don't reach the goal that you set, you start feeling like you failed. And when you fail, you don't do it. So set reasonable goals, get out there, walk, um, walk your dogs, ride your bike, whatever you can do. And this is a great climate down here in Atlanta so that you can do pretty much things all year round. So that's the fourth thing. The fifth thing is attitude. Okay, I am not going to tell you that you need to be positive every day and walk around just, oh, I'm so positive. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but what I am going to say is what Zig Ziglar says. He says, positive thinking won't help you do anything but it will help you do everything better. Think about that, okay? Love Zig Ziglar. So that's the five things, nutrition, sleep, stress management, exercise, and attitude, okay? These are the things that can help you stay healthy for you and your business. Don't wait until you're sick in order to start taking care of your health because when you're sick, your, your business doesn't run and you need you, you are your business. So I passed out some forms, or my assistants passed out some forms. What we're doing here today, because you're here today, I am offering one free coaching session with me so that you can get a handle on where you need to be with your health, where you want to be, and we can get you started on the right path for things that are sustainable, things that you can do over a lifetime, not just something that's a fad or a trendy workshop. Also, we're going to use those forms to let you know about the upcoming workshop. We have an awesome workshop about how to beat your sugar blues, okay? Everybody's addicted to sugar. We all are, okay? It is addictive, and we can't help it. And sugar is in everything. And I have a great workshop that I'll be presenting on that. So make sure you fill out those forms so you can get your free coaching session and you can hear about the work, find out about the workshops. I'm Sherry Bolden with Great Day Nutrition. Live life healthy. Yeah. Yeah.